Most of the 600 pages of Labor Abacai consists of word problems solved using a variety of methods. Leonardo uses the rule of three, as well as false position. Most of these problems give more insight into medieval culture than mathematics. For example, a man buys eggs at seven eggs for a denaro and sells them at five eggs for a denaro. If his profit is 19 denarii, how much did he invest in eggs? Leonardo supposes the man buys 35 eggs, presumably because that's a common multiple of 7 and 5. Since he bought 35 eggs at 7 eggs for a denaro, he spent 5 denarii. Since he sold 35 eggs at 5 eggs for a denaro, his revenue was 7 denarii. So, for an investment of 5 denarii, he earned a profit of 2 denarii. So, earning a profit of 19 denarii would require an investment of 5 times 19 halves, 47 and a half denarii. Leonardo also solved several VAT problems. We might call them work problems today. So here we have a VAT with four outlets. The first can empty the VAT in one day, the second in two, the third in three, and the fourth in four. How long will it take to empty the VAT if all four outlets are used? So Leonardo assumes the outlets are kept open for 12 days, again presumably because 12 is a common multiple of 1, 2, 3, and 4. The first outlet would empty the vat 12 times, the second 6 times, the third 4 times, and the fourth 3 times. So the four outlets working together would empty the vat 25 times in 12 days, so the vat would empty one time in 12 25ths of a day. Leonardo also finds the number of hours by multiplying by 12 to get 5 and 19 25ths hours. In the 13th chapter, Leonardo introduced what he called El Shah Time, we call this the method of double false position, or linear interpolation. As you might guess from the name, it's something Leonardo picked up from Arabic sources. We call it the method of double false position, or linear interpolation. Begin with two guesses for the solution, and use proportional reasoning to solve the problem. So in another alloy problem, one silver alloy has three ounces of silver per pound, and the second has six ounces of silver per pound. How many pounds of each alloy are needed to produce 15 pounds of an alloy with five ounces of silver per pound? Leonardo begins by noting 15 pounds of an alloy with five ounces of silver per pound requires getting 75 ounces of silver. For an initial guess, Leonardo supposed we took three pounds of the first alloy, this gives 9 ounces of silver. To make a total of 15 pounds, another 12 pounds of the second alloy are used, which gives 72 more ounces of silver. Together, these produce 81 ounces of silver, which is 6 ounces too many. Next, Leonardo assumed we took 4 pounds of the first alloy, which give 12 ounces of silver. Since we want 15 pounds total, we take 11 pounds of the second alloy, giving 66 ounces of silver, or 78 ounces altogether, which is now 3 ounces too many. So to summarize what we have so far, 3 pounds of the first and 12 pounds of the second give 6 ounces too many, 4 of the first and 11 of the second give 3 ounces too many. And note that increasing the amount of the first alloy by 1 pound decreased the amount of silver by 3 ounces. Since we're currently 3 ounces over the amount we want, we should increase the amount of the first alloy by 1 more pound. So the solution is 5 pounds of the first alloy and 10 pounds of the second.